They want us to graph this equation right here, y equals negative 2 over 9x minus 3. And it's already in slope-intercept form, and they want us to use that. So the two things we're going to identify is the slope and the y-intercept. And you can see here the slope is the coefficient in front of x. So the slope is negative 2 over 9. And then the y-intercept, you're going to find that right here. Okay, so remember, A class, how do you find a y-intercept? You plug in a 0 for x. Okay, we don't really need to plug it in. We can just get that y-intercept right here. But your x will be 0. And then the y-intercept is negative 3. So let's go to our graph. Now, the slope, negative 2 over 9, is rise over run. But we don't know, are we going to go down to an over 9 from here or down to an over 9 from here? We don't know that. So we need a starting point, And this is going to be your starting point. So we know that our line is going to cross the graph right here at 0, negative 3. Now, from that point, we're going to use our rise over run. And now there are two ways you can look at this. You can look at the rise as being negative 2 over the run as being 9. Or you could look at the rise as being the positive 2 and the run being the negative 9. Either way, you will get the same line. So let me write down rise over run. And you'll see both ways that it will be on our graph. So let's say we're going to use our rise as negative 2 and our run as 9. Okay, So from this point, we're going to rise negative 2, and then we're going to run 9. Right there. So here is our second point on the line. We have the two points. The computer is going to know whether or not you used the y-intercept. So make sure that you have that. And then we're going to draw a line to connect them. All right, so here is our line. And now just to show you, if you used rise over run the other way, let me go for pink, if we used rise as 2 and run as negative 9, from this point right here, we would rise 2 and run negative 9. There we go. All right, and you'll see that you'll get the same line. All right, just make sure that when you go to graph it, for them to know that you're using slope and intercept, you have to have that intercept as a point. If you try to use this point and this point, it's going to say, nope, you didn't use that y-intercept. That's it.